Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So I'd like to welcome you aboard one of my ships that's currently under construction, and I thought I'd build this ship with you and show you the modules that are actually going to be going into it. So this is the escape pod module, something I don't tend to build first, but in this case I thought it'd be a rather interesting natural component to show you. Now, after building a lot of different weapon systems, I've realized a really nice way of actually building yourself some escape pods, and it's by simply using these connectors to connect the modules up. Now, when you'd usually end up with five or six separate sort of bays for your drop pods or escape pods, you can end up with one bay and a simple piston that pushes them into the chamber and then fires them. This is the escape pod itself. It holds four cells and can accommodate up to four players, of course. Now, the actual things it has down the side, it has a beacon within the center so it can be picked up, as well as four small cargo containers so any belongings that the players can grab, they can quickly store within here, as well as there's a few spare tools and a bit of equipment in case they're stuck out there for longer than the expected time to actually be picked up. Now, we're actually propelling this out the tube using gravity, and you can see we've got gravity cubes here, front and back. So it's a very efficient way of actually propelling this. And it's as simple as hopping in and pressing P and it's instantly launched out of the chamber and down out into space. So you can get these out really fast. And if we hop up here into the control panel, we can actually access and bring the next one up to the level. So by pressing this button and activating ourselves, we can actually sit down and we can watch the pod actually creep up onto level. So this is quite a fast way of actually getting these out really fast and since they're stacked in this interesting format it means it saves a lot of space around the ship instead of having like five or six separate drop pod sort of bays you've now got only one so if we turn that off it's now back up at the level of dropping and you can access the cockpits here hop inside and launch yourself out into space so as we move on to our final drop pod ship you can actually see it's connected to the piston here and the pistons what's actually pushing these up and it's using a simple connector once again and it connects it up, powers it up onto here, and launches it into position. Now, if we go back over to the control panel and we release our actual power on, power off switch, you can see how it's bringing itself up to the level of the platform here. Now, it's a very simple, very effective way of actually making drop pods, as well as the shape of this ship is really nice. It's got this oval sort of design that I think is really cool. I mean, from the inside of the cockpit, it can be a little bit disorientating but at the same time it's really nice just to have a bit of a play about with so in an emergency situation where you've got to get into these drop pods extremely fast it's as simple as hopping in and launching by the pilot himself and you're launched out from in the ship and as you can see we're going through this very disorientating sort of tunnel and we're out of here and now we're out into space and we're pretty much safe from whatever's happened at that ship if we've came over attacked by pirates or it's as simple as just having an incident where the ship's gonna explode. Now, when it comes to escape pods, you need these pods to actually be launched in any sort of situation. The ship might be half destroyed, it might be crippled, you might have no engines, you might not even have an engine room left on the ship. So these need to be self-sufficient. So first of all, what I've decided to do is I've got these so they've actually enough power in each one of these for them to actually launch on their own. And the second thing, for the piston to keep on activating, we've actually got a backup generator that's located in the other room. So even in a really hard situation where there's no power left, we can simply dedicate all the power to actually evacuating the crew that's left on board. Now the chamber for these themselves is actually extended out and the colouring has no real reason at all. It just looks damn cool when you come out of this rainbow sort of tunnel and then you pop out the end and it's just, it's just really sort of interesting to have a play around with. But the other idea of the design is to keep these as low profile as possible. So number one, they're a harder target to hit and they can slip out a much tighter hole within the actual ship rather than having a massive big open spot where enemy players can pop in through and now your escape sort of pod area is the weak spot of the attack. So that is something to think about. So this is just one of the many modules that are there to actually evacuate or save the crew aboard my ship and I'd love to hear what sort of modules you guys have got in place to save either yourself or fellow crew members. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.